Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Magic C N5 Plus that supports a massive four terabytes of additional storage space. If you would like to find out some more about this Android box, then let's go and take a look. You can use the clickable sections below to skip ahead to any specific part in this video. The Magic C N5 Plus TV box was released in 2019 and runs Android 9 and would probably be more suitable to someone that is just looking to tinker around with an Android and make use of that extra space. If you're interested in taking a look at this box for yourself, you can find product links in the description below this video. Let's start off with taking a look into the specs. It's powered by an Amlogic S905X3 chipset, which is a quad-core processor and comes with a massive 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. A TF card slot supports extended storage up to 128GB, but if you want to take that even further, the built-in 2.5-inch hard drive bay supports extendable storage up to 4 terabytes. It's running Android 9, which is obviously outdated, but this box was released in 2019. It doesn't get OTA updates, but it does have the ability to manually control the enabling and disabling of root access, making it nice and easy to play around with if that's what you're into. The graphics processor handles video playback at 8K at 24 frames per second and 4K at 60 frames per second. It also comes with dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1, giving you the flexibility to add wireless headphones, keyboard, mouse or gamepad. And there's a 100 megabits per second Ethernet port for a wired internet connection. So that's what the Magic C N5 Plus offers. Let's take a quick look at what's inside the box. There's the Magic C N5 Plus box itself, and on the rear of the box, you have the antenna, LAN port, SPDIF, AV, HDMI, DC power, and an open close clip that pops the lid for access to the 2.5 inch hard drive bay. To one side, you also have a USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 port, as well as the TF card slot for micro SD cards. There's ventilation on both sides and on the bottom of the box as well. It is made of cheap plastic, but I think the price point reflects this when you consider everything else that the box has to offer. Also inside of the box is the power supply, and when ordering with HECA, you can select the correct plug for your country. There's also a HDMI cable, remote control that requires two AAA batteries that are not included, an antenna, which you don't have to use, the Magic C box does come with internal Wi-Fi antennas, and lastly, an instruction manual. One huge benefit with the Magic C N5 Plus is the built-in 2.5-inch hard drive bay. If the 64 gigabytes of internal storage is not enough for you, you can easily add extra storage up to a maximum of four terabytes. If you're someone that has a large collection of movies and TV shows, this would be great for you. The extra space is also great for utilizing a built-in screen recording function that will capture everything from live TV to movies, gameplay and screen operation. The remote has all of the buttons needed that also control your TV, with handy instructions on the back. It also has a built-in mouse pointer, which comes in handy for apps that need a mouse. I'm not a huge fan of the remote. It is a little big and does look slightly dated and cheap. It also interacts with the Magic C using infrared, so you will need to make sure you are pointing the remote directly at the box and this can interfere with other devices that also use infrared. I didn't find the remote very easy to use and compared to a Bluetooth remote, it feels less responsive and this did get frustrating. 
Once you've plugged the Magic C in and powered it up, you will be at the home screen. The layout is very clean and simple with the date and time in the top right and quick launch icons in the center that you can easily customize to your liking. Down at the bottom of the screen, you have one click access to all of your apps, YouTube and the Google Play Store, as well as your settings. If you don't like this layout, you can easily add a custom launcher to really make this box your own. Up at the top next to the date and time, there's also a handy cleanup tool and task killer that shuts all background apps and clears memory. The Magic CN5 Plus runs on Android, so Google Play and Google Play services are integrated, meaning that you have full access to the Google Play Store, so that is an added advantage. However, it is running a version of Android known as stock or generic Android that is based on touchscreen, so it's the same operating system used on Android phones and tablets. It's not optimized for TVs. This can make navigating some applications limited or impossible without using a mouse or using the built-in Air Mouse on the remote. And if you haven't used this type of Android box before, then this is going to be a real struggle. Because you have the added USB ports, connecting peripherals such as a mouse to get around these navigation issues is really easy though. I tested the 4K playback by loading a 4K YouTube video and there were no issues there. The video played really well without any buffering, stuttering or lag. In a speed test connected to my 5 GHz Wi-Fi and then connecting it to Ethernet, I had no issues getting the maximum speed I can get from my ISP. I did use the external Wi-Fi antenna, but you don't have to unless you have a weak Wi-Fi signal as the box does have internal antennas. If you're subscribed to streaming services such as Netflix or Prime Video, these apps are supported in standard definition only, so this is something to be aware of. However, most users are not concerned by this as they are usually able to access apps for most of the popular streaming services through their smart TV. When it comes to sideloading applications from alternative sources, you can easily do that on this box and these applications work perfectly fine with the remote control as you also have the built-in mouse or with an attached keyboard and mouse. So with all of that said, how does the Magic C N5 Plus perform compared to similar Android boxes I've reviewed? Benchmarking measures performance with a points system, with more points meaning better performance. The Magic C N5 Plus marginally outperforms the Mi Cool KM7 and is only just beaten by the Buzz TV XRS 4500 Max. Overall, if you're looking for an Android box that has tons of space, allows you to add an external hard drive, has a simple layout with no ads, then the Magic C N5 Plus may be an option for you. If you own a Magic C N5 Plus, let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Or if you want to give this box a try for yourself, check out the links in the description. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.